Good morning, Herons. Welcome to another episode of Heron TV. Damien, can you believe it's already October 22nd? Time sure, sure seems to fly. It will be Thanksgiving in no time. We better get the show started then, or Jonathan has come to a close to a close and or our school has raised some much needed funds. So how much money did we raise, Kaden? That sounds more like a D Miss Damon question. Hey Herons, it's Mrs. Damon. I'm the bookkeeper here for the school. I just wanted to give a shout out to all of you who helped with our Jogathon. We really appreciate the work and the effort you put into that. Our total for this year was $27,900. Thank you very much, Herons. Have a good day. Thanks for participating in the, fun the fundraiser, Herons. Now let's move on to our next segment. It's time to celebrate National Disabilities Awareness Month. Let's kick, let's kick off the celebration with a disability awareness quiz. All right, Herons, I hope you've been studying. It's time to put on our thinking caps and take the Disability Awareness Month quiz. Let's find out how much you know about the disability and the amazing ways they overcome them. Teachers, pause the show now if you want your students to record their answers in their Character Strong journals. True or false, can all disabilities be seen? Answer, false. Some physical disabilities are obvious, others are invisible, including learning disabilities. True or false, the reasons kids don't do their work is because of their laziness. Answer, false. Students who don't do their work might be lazy, or they might need access to tools that they just don't have. True or false, people with intellectual disabilities are often very intelligent. Answer, true. There is no link between disabilities and intelligence. Although he was never diagnosed, experts believe that Albert Einstein was on an autism spectrum disorder and had dyscalculia, a math learning disability. True or false, there's only a downside to disabilities. Answer, false. People with disabilities often have extraordinary strengths. Some students with autism know more about their favorite subjects than teachers. True or false, one in a hundred Americans have an identified disability. False, one in five Americans have an identified physical or intellectual disability. How did you do, Kaden? I only missed one. I had no idea Einstein was on the autism spectrum. Don't let anyone's disability fool you. All sorts of disability, disabled people have done great things. Let's check with, the, with Aubrey for the quote of the week. Hi, Aubrey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Want to hear a quote? Sure. Okay, here it is. Just because a man lacks the use of his eyes doesn't mean he lacks vision by C.V. Wonder. Wow, that was really inspirational. I wasn't expecting two Aubrey's. Well, you never know what to expect on Heron TV.
that's right. I've seen a lot of episodes of Heron TV, and they always seem to have a weather forecast. Heron TV is usually rather predictable, although that though last week was the first episode that didn't have a Heron callout drawing. That's right. What happened? There, not nearly enough kids had have been putting their callouts in the bucket by the main office. So, can we do a drawing now, Caden? I'm afraid not, Damien. So many kids have also been forgetting to write their first and last name on their tickets. That's too bad. So, Herons, please turn your Heron callouts so we can return the beloved segment to the show. Heron callout drawings are no laughing matter. But the joke of the day is... <laughs> I just got my greens. What do these mean? Um, you got a C and a B. It's pretty average. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, that reminds me of a joke. Okay, let's hear it. Where are all the average things for the least? I don't know where. The satisfactory. Ha ha ha. That joke was kind of average. I thought it was satisfactory. <laughs> Do you know what has been well above average? Our cross country team has been spectacular. They had another meet last week at the North Clackamas Park. Let's see how it went. Hello Harris. we had our last district race this past week at the North Clackamas Park. It was awesome. It came down to a showdown between Kai Miles and Joe Yang and Kai stretched it out and won right at the end. Let's hear it for Kai everybody. Woo! Anyway, we have our district final coming up, gosh, in uh, tomorrow. And that's going to be at the Alder Creek again, district championship. And then following that, we have our state championship coming up the first weekend of November. Come out and join us at Alder Creek tomorrow if you can make it. Go Herons! Yeah! Woo! So come to Alder Creek Middle School tomorrow and see the league championship. Good luck, Herons. Kid, I'm in the mood for a random fact. Here's your random fact of the episode, Herons. Did you know that over half of the world's population lives within a 5,000 mile wide circle in East Asia? That's more than three and a half billion people, and you thought it was crowded at the end of the day by the student store. That's your random fact of the episode, Herons. Well, you learn something new every day. Speaking of learning something new, let's meet our student council. Here is our first installment of Stucco TV. Hey everybody! Oh, hey. Alright, okay, um, I'm Ava. I'm Daphne. And this is Sean. And we're your Stucco TV. Okay. We'll be here throughout the entire year, so we'll see you guys every week. Every Stucco week? Every Stucco week. week. We're gonna tell you every Tuesday, um, for the Heron TV, and we're gonna be having a couple segments. Um, on Heron TV too. Every now and then. <laughs> because we're gonna tell you what's uh, up in student council and what's up with our school. Mm -hmm. What else do we have, Daph? Oh, we have a positivity project going on right now, and here are some clips to show with you guys. Mm -hmm. Here at Stuka, we've created a positivity project that will be used throughout our school. Through trial and error, we have finally come up with a bunch of ideas to spread this school wide. Having fun, but also through dedication, we have made an awesome project. These clips help show our positivity project. Thank you, Stuka. We look forward to more updates throughout the year. On that note, we better get back to class. I'm Kaden. And I'm Damien. Have a great day, Herons.